I've been waiting over two years for this. In July 2020, I placed my order for a brand new Ford Bronco. It has been two years now that it has taken from the original order to finally, finally, it's here. <laughs> oh, this has been such a long process. I am super pumped for this car. I have never gotten like a brand, brand new car. Every vehicle we've ever purchased has been a used car. This will be the very first brand new, zero miles, and I configured and built the whole thing myself. It's also weird ordering and buying a car that I've never seen in person. Even just putting the deposit down, you couldn't like go and look at these cars at the dealership. They didn't have them built yet. Guys. <laughs> The Bronco has been in transit for a couple weeks now, and I've been trying to get in contact with the dealership to figure out, is it delivered yet? Where is it? What's going on? Does anybody know? Nobody knows. With all that being said, I did get a phone call. It was probably around 3 p.m. The dealership told me, hey, guess what? Your Bronco showed up this morning. We already did all the pre-checks. We already did whatever they have to do. They already finished it. So do you want to come pick it up tonight? And I said, uh, yes. So that's what I did. All right, guys, the time has finally come. I'm here to pick up my brand new Ford Bronco. And today's finally the day. I'm so excited. Let's go. There it is. It's right there, Barrett. Look, the orange car. Yeah, we're at the car store. Right there? That's it. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. And that one's cool too. Well, that's somebody else's. This one's mine. Look at this, bud. This is nice. Whoa. Wow, you can even watch TV. This is legit my first time ever looking inside of a Bronco, so this is quite exciting. So I did trade in our Durango for this new vehicle. The Durango was a good was a good SUV. I enjoyed that car. Goodbye Durango, but hello Bronco. <laughs> I'm going to go over the specifics of just the build summary of some of the things that I picked. This is basically, you know, everything you need to know. So, it is an Outer Banks model, four-door with the upgraded 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine, beadlock wheels, the 35 inch mud terrain tires. This is the cyber orange metallic color. It's got the leather trimmed vinyl seats with roast and black. It's got the Lux package and the Sasquatch package. <sighs> so in a nutshell, that is the configuration that I went with. I am excited that it came just in time that there's still a little bit of summer left. If it had come like in September and I had missed all of summer, I would have been a little sad, but there's still some summer days left. that I can take the roof and the doors off and I can experience what a cool, just adventure mobile will be. I'm looking at my uh, order confirmation and it literally says vehicle available beginning of summer 2021. If you didn't know, the Bronco had a lot of issues with the hard top. That's the model I got. Ford was having a lot of issues with the hard tops. I don't know the exact details, but I know they had to like recall or redo all the hard tops. So they had like a whole lot of these Broncos that were fully built but they had to redo all the hard tops and all these vehicles that were already built. I'm excited to just go driving in this, especially like all the trails, just even just going to work is gonna be fun. Oh man, I am so excited. <laughs> this is the official first camera ride. I've been in the car for about 
two weeks now. I have to show you this cool, this is the first official um, accessory that I've bought for the Bronco. Uh, check this out. You see, this is accessory ready right there. It's a camera mount screw and I bought this rail with this camera mount right here. So I'm going to attach the camera to the camera rail and we're gonna go for a drive because I have a free drink at Dutch Bros Coffee for my birthday. I'm gonna cash that in, but that way we can experience the Bronco ride together. What? That's pretty fun. Okay, don't forget your seatbelts. Oh, and we're rolling. Literally, we're rolling backwards and I'm rolling on the camera. This is nuts. <sighs> all right, well, first of all, what kind of music do you guys like? Uh, sure, I can play that. Or I can do this. Or I can do this. And this, and this. Today, the weather is a little bit rainy. Uh, last week, it was really warm and I drove, I think like two or three days with the roof completely off. It was so much fun. So far, the kids also really enjoy the Bronco. I don't know if you can really see. I've got their booster seats back here for driving around. Better get my app out. When I get home, I desperately need to take a shower because I got pied in the face like 10 times today at work. And I still smell like spoiled whipped cream. Ah. Hey. How y'all doing today? Good. I'm just gonna get a iced, um, oh, where'd it go? Uh, <laughs> the Golden Eagle. For sure, for sure. Any whipper soft top on there? Uh, no, but can I do half sweet? Oh yeah, sweet. Oh, do you wanna use your birthday drink today? Yes, please. Uh, right there? Thank sure. you. Yeah. Birthday. And that's how you order a coffee. You guys can't see them on camera because I can't tilt it up, but I've got six auxiliary switches here. They can go to like light bars and stuff like that, but six switches? I'm not sure what all they can go to. These buttons here for different off-road things. I should probably learn what these symbols mean. I literally just watched a video of Linus Tech Tips doing a uh, dash cam review. I think they like just came out today. Is this the best dash cam of all time? You have a YouTube channel, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought I recognized you. That's me. I used to work at the Chick-fil-A. Oh, and nice. I think you guys came through once with like a money. Oh, like, oh yeah, with the money yeah, gun? And, and I was Wait, there. you were there? Yeah, no. Oh, no and way. It, it was so much fun. That was so cool. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah that was fun. Well, there's that for you, man. Cool. I love yeah. your jacket, too. Thank you, man. That's cool. I appreciate that. Coffee vlogs. So here are the aux switches. Pretty cool. And then the uh, off-road. I'm not quite sure how to use those yet. And we've got the goat mode dial. I think this changes sort of, I don't know, the different terrain you're on, like uh, sand or rock climbing or whatever you're doing. We got this handbar here for going off-roading and jiggling around. That's the new Ford Bronco. I am super pumped for this car. Like I said, I've been waiting two years for this to come and I couldn't be more stoked. I have a lot of like cool video ideas that I could do with this and I think it'd be really fun. So uh, subscribe.